everybody. I'm Beatty Combs-Reddows, and welcome, welcome again to the Ask Beatty Show. Well, I have a guest. I'm very excited about my guest. In fact, I was looking on Facebook a couple of days ago, and for those of you who know me, I probably should be doing more social media, but I don't. I don't want to spend a lot of time, but something just popped up. And I thought, gee, this woman looks to be a really interesting person. So, of course, I Googled her and I thought, yes, this is someone I would really like to have on my show today. So, Valerie Bettis, you're here. I'm here. (laughs) It's a miracle. (laughs) Well, and I really appreciate the fact that you arrived, you know, with such short notice. I, you know, contacted you yesterday. But I thought that there there are so many important things that you have done and that you really have to, to talk about that I felt, yes, I want you on the show today. And thanks so much for just making the time to be in. And, and Valerie is someone who came from corporate America, and now your life is holistic health and, and healing. So listen, Valerie, how, how did all this happen? <laughs> wow, boy. Well, it's hard to believe that it's really been in the making for 35 years. Wow. Uh, when I first became interested in holistic healing. And so I studied it on my own, but it was considered very fringe at the time. But I studied herbs and nutrition and fasting and colonics and therapeutic touch and Reiki. And I knew about Gary Noll back then, too. In fact, at one point, I was a member of his running club. And so it was really an area that called to me, but I decided to focus on essential oils, also known as aromatherapy, because they can be used in so many, many different ways. Mm -hmm. And I started studying over 24 years ago. You did. Well, I'm just looking at, at your bio here. I mean, you, were, you are and, and the creator of a line of aromatic products under the brand name Essence of Valley, Valley for Valerie, of right, course, correct. and that you launched your line 18 years ago when essential oils were a little understood and were considered, as you said, fringe. And you've led a very healthy lifestyle for 25 years, believing in the importance of self-care on all levels and the possibility of of graceful aging. We are never going to age. I cannot wrap my arms around that concept. And uh, one of the things that I really want the uh, listeners to hear is that you have your uh, brand new venture uh, with a partnership with uh, Rosalind Block and that you've created and of course wearing my sex therapy hat I mean people know I am a psychotherapist dealing with the serious mental health issues and also a sex therapist that you've created a personal moisturizer for women called Intimate that is 100% natural vegan hormone free and addresses a common issue in a safe and gentle manner And in conversations with other women, you grew to understand how prevalent painful sex is for menopausal women and for a lot of women as well who are not menopausal. And uh, we're on the same page. Sex (laughs) is really important. And, uh, you know, I was telling you before the show, I have several patients and they are not menopausal or postmenopausal who are having serious, serious issues in terms of pain. Mm -hmm. Uh, when they're having sex. And, you know, for people who are on Facebook Live, I feel like I'm in this this aromatherapy store right now. (laughs) You brought me all of these wonderful, wonderful uh, samples. So why don't we start to talk about Intimate? Okay, it's a a great story. Um, It really is a brand new product. It's been available for all of uh, three weeks now. That's it. And it's hit the ground running. We're already getting great feedback. Um, It's a shea butter-based product that has coconut oil, hemp seed oil, vitamin E, and the magic ingredient in my mind is comfrey root oil, which is very, very wound healing. So any kind of inflammation, abrasion, um, it really, within a a matter of hours or within a day, there's no pain. And I created it with a friend of mine, Rosalind Block. We've known each other since we were in our 20s. Uh I'm 65, she's 66. 
And we wanted to create something that addressed this issue that we also have had experience with. And so... But how did you know? Like, how do you know what's supposed to go with what and how to blend this with that? I mean, how, how do you know this? Well, in terms of aromatherapy, because um, our intimate product doesn't have essential oils in it, it's, it is a blend still of different, you know, butters and oils and herbs. When you make any kind of a blend, the first thing you have to do is say, well, what am I trying to accomplish? What ingredients would address that issue? Right. And that's what we did with Intimate. We chose those oils very selectively. Like cooking, we had to decide, well, how much, of, how much shea butter are we going to use and how much coconut oil? And you just you develop an intuitive sense about it. You experiment. Now, in terms of essential oils, you've got an aroma to consider. So it's a little bit more involved. Uh, for example, our sleep formula, which is our most popular blend, I chose essential oils that are sedative. Then I had to decide which oils do I want to put in this mix, which oils are going to make a good blend, smell nice together, because you want the aroma to be pleasing. Um, and then you decide, how much do I want to use of this? Uh, how much lavender? How much ylang lang? You don't want anything that's going to take over the blend too much. So it becomes like cooking. How much training did you have, and where did you get your training? Well, when I was 41 years old, I was going through a very transitional period. I was in an executive position at Gray Advertising, one of the top advertising agencies in the world. Uh-huh. Not totally happy, not miserable. I have no regrets about all my years in the corporate world. Um, but I decided to focus on essential oils. And within a couple of days, I found a teacher. I was an apprentice to her two days a week after work. And then I did a diploma program, a certification program through teachers. That, you know, Michael mm-hmm. Scholes, Joan Clark were my primary teachers. And they, they worked out at the Open Center. And I had to study chemistry and botany and the art and science of blending and how to make blends for pregnant women and what blends might be useful during childbirth and skin care and body care. It was a very, very involved course of study. Very intense. Very intense, very involved. Mm -hmm. And this is something else that, you know, I want people to, to really take in is that you're living your dream and there's so many, there's so many people who hate what they do, they don't want to go to work, and are afraid, are afraid to make that change. Were you scared to to leave the security of your position? Yes, I was. And what I did was, after I completed my studies, I started a home-based business where people would come to me and I would create formulas just for them. Uh I still have my original recipe book. But then it got to a point in my career where I just knew it was the right time to leave. There were just a lot of signs pointing in that direction. Right. And what I do remember is I did it. I resigned. And then I thought to myself, oh, my God, what what did I do? do? What What did did I I get myself into? Right. And it was scary. And there were, and I remember my father saying to me, you're going to make a lot of mistakes. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I did, and I learned from all of them, but I made a lot of good decisions. Mm -hmm. And um, I still, when I look back, it's been 18 years now that I left. I find it so hard to believe. Like, I never thought of myself as someone who would start their own company. Never. And you have quite a company. I mean, you sell to hotels, to spas. I was reading about you on the Internet. It's like, oh, my God, this is not just any longer a home kind of a business. This is this is big business. No, it became a real business. Um, again, I think back, one of the craziest orders I ever got was from a drug company. Really? And we had to, yeah, it was a huge order. It was a 65,000 unit order, wow. which I don't usually get orders like uh-huh. that. And it was from a drug company for a trade show. They wanted these samples. Um, or the time we had to ship um, a thousand units to the Maldives, where the shipping was a thousand dollars. You know, there were 
like many amazing projects that we did and private label and you know it's it's been fascinating and i can see just looking at your face i mean you you love this in the same way that i love doing psychotherapy and of course doing radio and tv i mean it's it's obvious it's, it's, first of all, to make products like in your work where you are really helping people, to get emails from people who say, you know, I'm not in pain because I'm using your relief formula, or I'm sleeping, or I, I'm, my depression is helped by your uplift blend, or now with Intimate, where we're getting this already great feedback from women who aren't feeling pain. That's amazing. Well, I want to hear much more about the intimate. In fact, I have a couple of patients right now that I'm definitely going to refer to you, and they've been to to doctors, and uh, their sex lives basically completely disappeared because of kind of undetermined pain. Mm -hmm. And it's it's devastating, and of course it it causes you know mild depression. It's and in certain situations, uh, not just mild depression, but you know severe depression. So what do you actually do? How do you apply this intimate product? Okay, it's not a product. It's it's an oil. Uh, it, yeah, <laughs> it's a it's a, again it's a shea butter based product, and it, it comes in a two ounce jar, and you need very very little. So here's the scoop. It can be used during lovemaking, although it's not a lubricant, but it can be it's used. It's not a lubricant. It's so not, where do you put it? Well, you put it in the vaginal canal if that's where your discomfort is. So oh, that could be actually part of the lovemaking. It Instead could of be. putting the KY gel in <laughs> right. your vagina, then you could put this Yes, in, 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 in the vagina. It's very nourishing to the con to the walls, the vaginal walls mm -hmm. that may have stiffness, loss of elasticity, right. even some atrophy around the opening, Interesting. Uh, the labia. Again, it's really where the pain is experienced. Some women you can use it after intercourse where they feel the discomfort. Uh -huh. Applying it just and topically, just topically applying it um, after intercourse. Uh, a friend of mine uses it twice a day religiously. It's just like she moisturizes her face twice a day. She does the same with her vagina. So, do you have to wait for there to be pain, or is this also uh, maybe a preventative type? Um, yes. Product. Yes. It can be used as a preventative measure, so using it once or twice a day. And that's actually what we recommend. The other reason for doing it that way is, this, this may sound funny, but it's, it's really a way that a woman can honor that part of herself mm -hmm. that is so sacred. That has a, many, for many women, there's a lot of trauma associated with exactly. that area. So it's a way of administering self-care. Mm -hmm. um, and so I know a lot of the hormone products, the suppositories, the prescriptions, they're typically used twice a week. Uh, this could be used twice a week. It could be used every day. Um, it could be used alternating if a woman doesn't want to give up her uh, pharmaceutical right. uh, products. Um, and, of course, women should really, you know, have some serious conversations, hopefully with holistic and integrative type doctors, because there are always risks. However small the risks are with these hormone products, I know at one point I was I was using one and uh, I started to read more and more and I became extremely frightened and, and got off it and that was the end of that and you know thank God there weren't any problems but um, with intimate uh, it can be a preventative uh, measure to take but if there is pain whether it's around the clitoris whether it's in the vagina mm -hmm. you're saying that the best way to uh, to put this on is vaginally. Yes, absolutely. Regardless of where the pain is uh, is coming from. Well, I'm assuming it's in the vaginal area. Okay. And um, so it, th my recommendation is that it be used once or twice a day, mm -hmm. just as a matter of, you know, routine. And then if there is still discomfort after sex, that it be used. Mm -hmm. And uh, personally speaking, that is the way I have used it with great success. Uh -huh. Now, what is the, uh, 
the medical profession. What are the doctors? What are the doctors that you have been in touch with? What are they saying about this? Well, honestly, I haven't had that chance yet, and I would imagine. And I, there are some doctors that I do want to speak to. One yeah. is my holistic doctor, but she's very, she's a holistic doctor, so I'm sure she's going to be open. Yes. And there may be doctors who would say, well, it's not going to do the same thing as, you know, these hormone remedies. But honestly, I've tried those hormone remedies, and I did not find them helpful. Exactly. I really didn't exactly. find them helpful. I would still be in a lot of pain. They're and, helpful for the pharmaceutical companies. Right. I mean, that's really the bottom line. But with this, I mean, maybe they'll, they'd say, well, there's no downside. Or maybe, you know, who knows? I have to, to do my research and talk to them first and then let you know. Mm -hmm. um, what I do know is that we're getting great feedback on it. Mm -hmm. And it, also it can be used uh, for a woman who's gone through childbirth where there yes. may be, have been some tearing or, uh, again, a lot of um, inflammation and discomfort. Um, I know a woman who had a hysterectomy where they take the uterus out through the vaginal canal, yes. and she had a lot of pain. She used it that way. So, And younger women who may, for whatever reason, have pain, it's just really, really good for vaginal dryness, atrophy, pain. Well, I cannot wait to actually refer a couple of my patients to you because this has really been playing havoc with their with their lives, their relationships, and, you know, obviously their sex lives as well. And uh, I'm going to give all the contact information, you know, later in the show so that people will be able to, if they're interested in purchasing uh, Intimate, they'll be able to, you know, go to your website. And my listeners know I don't have people on the show ever to push their businesses. This has never been what the Ask Beatty show is about. So that I, if I have a guest, and I don't have a lot of guests either, <laughs> it's got to be because there's something very, very authentic and substantial and evidence-based and research-based that I feel will be helpful to uh, my audience. So people, they know this about me, but I still felt that I really, really needed to just kind of make that point. And I'm looking at the array of bottles, and so many people, not just patients, are having problems with sleep. People don't sleep. I mean, not just the women who are sleeping with their phones and waiting to see whether the phones are going to ring, whether the likes are going to appear on the, you know, on the phone. So tell us about the sleep formulas. Okay. The sleep formula was one of my first blends that I ever created. I never knew how many people had trouble sleeping until I started seeing individual people and learning that so many people are taking sleeping pills or just not sleeping. So it has lavender, marjoram, cedarwood, and ylang-ylang. Those are the four essential oils. I chose lavender and ylang-ylang because they're sedative. Mm -hmm. Marjoram because it's very good for anxiety, and a lot of people can't sleep because of anxiety. Right. And cedarwood because it's very grounding, so it gets people out of their head. Mm -hmm. So that's the synergy. We call them synergies in the world of aromatherapy. So it's more potent than if we were just using lavender. Then, then we have to decide, well, what is the delivery system? So for our sleep product, we have it as a mist. So you mist your pillowcase. Your pi so you don't put it on your body. You put it on your pillowcase? You put it on your pillowcase. Uh -huh. We have concentrated drops that also go on the pillowcase. Uh -huh. uh, we have a diffuser blend, which is also concentrated. So people can put it in an aromatherapy diffuser, which is a lovely way uh -huh. to have it around at all times, even during the day. You just want something uplifting. Right. Uh, you talked about baths before. It comes as a massage and bath oil. Uh -huh. So people can take a lovely bath or they can massage their feet or their hands. Um, and then it also comes as a balm. So it's in a beeswax base that you dab above your upper lip. That's the only product we have that isn't vegan because of the beeswax. Uh -huh. Um, sometimes people use them together, like they may put the balm on and then use the mist. Um, and that's perfectly fine to do. Um, it also comes in a roller bottle, so it can be carried around during the day, and you can just kind of dab it on pulse points and above the upper lip. 
But what it does is it just, it helps people get out of their head. It eases anxiety, stress. I'm going to try it tonight. Uh, it, it's, <laughs> I can't it's, wait. It's great to, for people to take on a plane or, you know, with them to their hotel. Mm -hmm. um, no, it sounds wonderful. I would say that over 95% of my patients all have sleep issues. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm thinking of a couple who are on so much sleeping medication mm -hmm. that doesn't work. I mean, can you imagine one patient of mine right now, she was telling me, she takes two Ambion, she takes Restorol, and she's still up mm -hmm. in the middle of the night and uh, was actually talking to her psychiatrist, who I've been trying to convince her to leave for, for several years. And he says, well, maybe you want to take another Ambion. It's wow. like, you've got to be kidding me. You know, wow. talk about medical malpractice. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is really it. But no, I mean, I, I think that so many people, so many Americans, patients, not patients, I mean, we're so stressed. People are just, it's like over the top mm -hmm. with, with doing and mm -hmm. running and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and working and trying to cram so many things into a day that people are really, really sleep deprived, mm -hmm. as, you, as you well know. Yes, and it's a, it's a huge, huge issue. And sleep should be a part of our wellness routine. Absolutely. So should sex, by the way. Abs absolutely. Well, you know, talking about sex, uh, I don't know whether you're aware of, you know, the, some of the studies uh, that have been going on in this country, but we're not doing well in the United States when it comes to sex. Uh, many, many, many couples are living in sexless marriages. In fact, there's a study that I quote frequently. This was a, a study with 100 couples. Uh, who describe their marriages as uh, happy or very happy. And they were in a study, at least on a conscious level, they were not wanting help, but they were in this, in this study. And the results are interesting. 50% of the women had difficulty becoming aroused. Mm -hmm. An additional 35% of these women had difficulty with orgasm. 15% could not have orgasms under any condition whatsoever. With the man, and men may be surprised, but if you are having erectile dysfunction issues, instead of just going to your doctor and asking for a Viagra or a Cialis or Levitra, you want to find out what is going on potentially with blockages in your heart. And this is something that doctors really need to do a much, much better job, you know, in their 10-minute, you know, diagnostic, uh, you know, meetings with, uh, with patients. Because you, the real question, of course, is, you know, uh, why is there not sufficient blood flow to, to the penis? But the results of the study found that 52% of men between the ages of 40 and 70, so 40, you know, pretty young, mm -hmm. and, and 70 uh, were having issues with uh, erectile dysfunction. And in the case of erectile dysfunction, it is primarily physical. Of course, you have to look at the relationship and the depression and the anxiety and, and uh, substance abuse, um, you know, cancer issues, I mean, you know, physical issues as well. So, and then premature ejaculation, a third of the men in this particular study had issues with uh, premature ejaculation. So even though, you know, I, I, I see this, you know, we live in this, you know, sexualized society, but uh, we're not doing all that well. Mm -hmm. And I think that sex, I agree with you, I think it is really something that couples need to prioritize and, uh, you know, I'm constantly, constantly saying to couples who I treat and, you know, people who listen to the Ask BD show is that if you're going to have a successful relationship, if you're in a successful relationship, you need to prioritize the relationship. You know, the kids, the work, I mean, all of these things are a part of our life, but things just don't happen on their own. It's like the song, you know, nothing comes from nothing, nothing mm -hmm. ever will. You know, we have to we have to put some time and energy and make sure that there is going to be romance in our mm -hmm. lives. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, uh, you know, the divorce rate for third marriages. Do you know what the divorce rate for third? No. Marriage, do you know what the divorce rate for first marriages? Is? No. It's down a little. It's only 48 percent for wow. second marriages. What is it? Do you know? I have no 62 percent. Really? And oh for my. third marriages. That number is 
percent in the United States. This is how badly wow. we are doing, and typically people tend to repeat history. Mm-hmm. They uh, they don't get themselves together. They don't know the ingredients that go into a healthy relationship. They don't read my book, <laughs> <laughs> which teaches people. <coughs> How to assess who's right for you and who's wrong for you before you commit. For better, for worse, forever, discover the path to lasting love. So we're in this sort of circular kind mm-hmm. of a, mm-hmm. you know, kind of thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Tell us about some of the other wonderful bottles that are. Oh, okay. Well, here. the other the other thing that I learned um, from talking to people when I before I launched my line was how prevalent depression is. And I know you you know that, um, depression and anxiety. So we have an uplift blend. I, I try to create blends that address these common issues. Um, and I learn them from speaking to individual people. So uplift has lavender, spruce, bergamot, and litsia cubiba. And bergamot is known, it's in Earl Grey tea. It's uh-huh. known, and it comes from the peel of a fruit. And I want to say these essences, they're called essential oils. They come from different parts of a plant. Uh-huh. So, for example, when you peel an orange and you see that little spray, right. that's the essential oil. It's like the sweat of the plant, the essence of the plant. Uh-huh. That's what we're mixing. It's not synthetic fragrance. And it has a very complex chemistry, which gives it its properties and its healing abilities. So, and we put spruce also because spruce is grounding. Anything that comes from a tree is very grounding. Litsia cubiba is very bubbly and it's very uplifting. It's not a very well-known essential oil. And then lavender. So again, it's a powerful synergy to address anxiety and depression. It can be diffused. It can be misted, used in the bath. People can create a whole ritual for themselves with these oils. And we certainly need it. I mean, depression rates are up 18% uh, in this country. One in three Americans are taking some kind of... uh, antidepressant type of medication. Yeah. So again, it's a huge... It's a huge problem. Very prevalent problem. As, as is anxiety. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, people are, are self-medicating and they're taking all of the over-the-counter mm-hmm. and the prescription medications and there are so many alternatives. And, you know, Gary Dell talks about this mm-hmm. all the mm-hmm. time, all the time. Now, with the, this depression essential oil product... What do you what do you do with that? You spray it on? Or yeah, what? it's again. Uh, this is a mist, so you can mist it around yourself or use it as an air freshener. Um, the massage and bath oil is wonderful. Again, just to use in the bath, or you know, you can mix it with Epsom salts. Uh, even just massaging your hands and then breathing it in. Uh, a lot of people like to take the roller bottle with them. They wear it like a natural perfume. Uh-huh. Most perfumes are made with synthetic fragrance. And then this is the diffuser blend. So you can use it. When I started, aromatherapy diffusers were not that common. Right. They've become a lot more common. Okay. And I do recommend that people have at least one aromatherapy diffuser in your home or even in your office if it's not if it doesn't bother the people around uh-huh. you um, and so they can just be used to support you during the day now the people who have been using the um, aromatherapy for depression have they said about how long because, you know, we are very impatient. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we, we want it now. We want it yesterday. How long does it take for, uh, you know, with medications, I would say, for the pills to kick in? But how long does it take for this to have some sort of positive effect? From my experience, what I have seen is that people will know right away whether it's going to help them or not. Mm-hmm. There, there won't be a waiting period. They're either going to have a very positive response to it right away, enjoy it. They can, if they are still want to stay on their antidepressants, they can use them in conjunction. It's not contraindicated, um, but they will know right away. Wow, I, I, I'm, I'm enjoying this, or gee, it feels so. It smells so nice in my mm-hmm. bath. You know, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's energy medicine. They'll know if it 
is shifting their energy in some positive way mm -hmm. and if it is in fact a nice experience for them and people have to understand too that there isn't just one thing that is going to do the trick whether or not it's for you know sexual issues or for depression or for anxiety which is why, you know, at the beginning of every show, I really want people to take in all of the different things that they can do that are not expensive. In fact, that don't cost anything at all uh, that can really help them begin their day in a positive way. And yet I think that so many people, they're, they're always excuses. I don't like this. I don't want to do this. I don't have time. I'm too busy. I'm saving the world. I, I'm, you know, it can go on and on and on. And yet, you know, really having an integrated approach. I agree 100%. It's just like we're creating synergies with essential oils. Right. People need to create their own healing synergies. It's not just one thing. There isn't a magic bullet. That's, that, that's exactly true. And, you know, every week I, I always hope, Valerie, that there's some, you know, little thing that I can say that will inspire people to... I wish we had an essential oil right now so that I could stop coughing. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, I, you know, some little thing mm -hmm. where people will say, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to make the time. What other things did well, you bring? Well, I'll talk about the relief formula because this really drives home the point that aromatherapy is not just about the aroma. Our relief formula is lavender, peppermint, and birch, and this is the massage oil version of it. Um, we use jojoba as the base so it doesn't go rancid. And it's great for pain, shoulder pain, knee pain, neck pain, really? any kind of pain. Yeah, and we've, we've got heard great testimonials. And the thing that's nice is it's different than taking an Advil because you're participating. You're massaging it or maybe someone else is massaging it, but it's a, a more complete experience of healing. You know, there's the this nice smell, there's the way it feels on your skin, there's you massaging or someone else massaging or being in a in a bathtub that has relief. You're somehow participating in it whereas when you take a pill it's a more passive in my opinion kind of a thing. So you can create rituals with these formulas. So relief I feel really good about because it addresses pain issues. So you actually put the relief on, on the area yes. where you have pain or stiffness? Correct. Correct. So when you're playing tennis, if you ever have any kind of discomfort afterwards, mm -hmm. you would massage it. Some people also use it in a more preventative way where they'll use it before they go out running. Mm -hmm. They'll use it um, before and after. So mm -hmm. it can be used in that way, too. So I know that everybody is going to want to know your website and where they can find out more about you and the products and, and, and purchasing the products and giving it a shot. So where do they go? Uh, they go to my website, which is www.essenceofvalley.com. And Valley, which is my nickname, is V-A-L-I dot com. And um, tonight I'm going to set up a code uh, that gives your listeners um, uh, a, a certain price allowance on any order that they um, place. So the code would be Thank you. B E A B E A T T Y. Well, that's a good code. <laughs> that's a great code. No, that is. Thank you. Thank you. And, and I, I'm so hoping that those of you who are listening, okay, you're listening on iTunes and iPhone and on the computer and on Facebook Live that you are really, really going to take in what Valerie uh, Bennis has had to say about the products. This is not a selling show, but if there are things that we have in this world, whether or not it's shopping at Gary Knoll's Whole Food Store on Broadway, 
my God, Jim and I, we have a Whole Foods kitchen uh, in, in in our kitchen, and it has made a huge, huge difference, um, you know, in our lives. And it's the same thing with you, Valerie. You you have products, and obviously, I mean, they've been designed with with knowledge and with love. I mean, it's mm-hmm. very clear Thank that you, you really Dee Dee. you really care about all of this, and. Uh, so I'm hoping that people will go to your website. And um, as usual, I mean, I'm looking at the clock here, and I say this every single week. I cannot even believe that um, an hour has, has come and gone. And I want to thank you so, so much for at the last moment we connected and that you were able to uh, to come in. And I, I've learned a lot. And tonight, I'm telling you, I have not had issues with sleep. But tonight, I am going to do or have Jim do whatever he needs needs to do to massage the uh, the sleep formula, you know, anywhere on my body. Is that right? Anywhere uh, at all. If it's the massage and bath oil, yeah. But if it's the drops, uh-huh. um, then it goes on the pillowcase. Okay, that's yeah. right. On the pillowcase, yeah, on the pillowcase. Pillow right? See, I have to, <laughs> have to listen a little bit more carefully to all of this. Anyways, it was a joy having you. You, ha- having you on the show, and uh, we'll have to do it again. And I'm so glad that we actually met because you heard me speak last year. I know. And uh, we, hadn't, uh, we hadn't connected. So the, uh, the joys of uh, social media, right? I know. And thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Well, I loved it, and I'm sure that the people listening today thank also you. really loved it. So, everybody, thank you, thank you, thank you again for listening every Monday live from 3 to 4 on the SB Show. And as I said before, I hope that today you've learned something. I hope that today you are going to acknowledge, address, and resolve. And that means taking action to deal with your issues, whatever those issues may be. And as usual, I leave you with two important things that I want you to seriously take in. It'll make all the difference in the world. So listen to this beautiful song. You've got to love yourselves. Find a way, okay, with help, without help, to really love yourself. And we all have to do a much, much better job in this world to love each other. Goodbye, everybody. I'll talk with you next Monday. Have a good day and uh, be well. Bye-bye.